Before you do anything, go up to Edit, Preferences, tick the By Gen add-on, the ANT Landscape, and Node Wrangler. Links below. Add a landscape. Go into the landscape settings, only go for a marble, change the distortion and height. Add a subdivision surface and shade smooth. Scale it up, tick these three and make sure the shadows are high bit depth. Go to the shader section, give it a new material, add new image texture, add the texture you desire, duplicate it, make it non-color data. Same for the normal map. Go to the UV panel, unwrap it and scale it up. Go back to the layout. Shift A, add a metal shell, scale and position it, Control alt 0 to position the camera, I'm going for a wide focal length. Head to the shade editor, give it a new material, add new image texture, and rinse and repeat like before. Once you've got all that sorted, head to the UV editor, unwrap and scale it up, enter the layout panel, and press shift S. Press shift A and add a point cloud. Scale it up, add new material, make it an emission shader, and I'm going for a cool hue. Change the strength so it's bright, duplicate it, scale it, add new material like the last one, just make it red. Okay, time to add your character. I used Adobe's Mixamo. I went for an idle animation, and download it. Okay, to add your character into Blender, go to File, Import, FBX. Position your character how you like. Ugh, the lighting's so boring. Let's add a HDR. That's better. Turn down the strength to make it darker. Add a spot lamp. Position it. Rotate it. I'm going for a blue hue. Turn up the power. Okay, add a cube. Scale it up. Give it a new material. Add a principal volume and change the density. Add a point lamp. Change the radius. I'm going for a red hue. Turn up the power. Nice. Head to the animation tab. Press I. Lock rot scale. Move your camera. Add another keyframe. Double tap R to rotate the ball and add keyframes. Okay, choose a place to export. I'm going F Meg in QuickTime. And if you're happy, render animation. 